Welcome once again to vehicle maintenance and repairs.com. Gary Daly Cruz, your host. Um, basically, we've got a missing Almeida. Okay, it's a 600. Um, it's come in, it's got misfires on it. The car was just recovered from being stolen. Um, I noticed that the engine management light is on on the dashboard. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to try and trace the misfire. First of all, as you know, I've got new diagnostic equipment. I've got a, a, a launch C reader. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the C reader to try and see if I can locate the misfire. And then I'm also gonna show you how we can do it manually without you having special equipment, okay? So without further ado, let me show you the car first so that you can familiarize yourself with the car. Okay, inside the Almera, we've got basic setup. Okay, uh, you have your dashboard with your uh, petrol gauge on the left. You have your speedo and then your ref counter and then you've got a temperature gauge. You've also got a digital clock over there. When you put the ignition on, you get all the warning lights that comes on and you do a, get a self-diagnostic. The engine management light is not going off. Um, but besides that, okay, going to the steering, there's no controls on the steering. It's got the electric windows, okay, um, for uh, all four um these uh, uh windows uh they stolen a radio unfortunately and then of course you get your aircon control it's a five speed manual and then it's a normal levered handbrake okay a uh, very nice layout basic layout okay um you've got a stalk on the right for the wipers okay and then you've got a stalk on the left hand side for the indicators okay so uh, let's get this started okay now we'll see what's happening. You can hear she's running pretty rough. Misfiring. Okay, and the engine management light is not going off. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be using my launch. Okay, and then I'm going to do a, a quick diagnostic and see if we can pick up um, why the car is actually misfiring. And, um, you know, try and uh, gain the problem, um, you know, with modern equipment. And then uh, I will show you now I'm going to also try and trace it manually, okay? So, without further ado, let me go and uh, hook this machine up quickly. Okay, coming in on the driver's side, you will find the plug basically uh, in line, um, you know, here with your clutch pedal. Well, you see the clutch pedal? Here's a, let me see if I can. Okay, you can see where the plug is, all right? We're going to be plugging in our so okay we'll plug the we'll plug the launch in and you can see the launch is now starting to look for the the vin number which it hasn't found so we need to go and get our vin number and put it in manually okay so i'm going to manually input the vin it's a d n h o it's okay so let's say okay with that Okay, it's a Nissan. Now start the vehicle system detection. We'll say OK. OK, we'll read fault codes. Uh, open sensor circuit, CKP, open sensor circuit. We're going to have to do this old school way. Okay, so you see what I mean with having um, machines. It's nice to have machines, but sometimes it, it cannot be used. Okay, so we're going to go old school on this one. Right, so the first thing that I will do is, I will take off the, I'll take off the coils, mark these coils. Okay. I'll mark the coils, basically get them loosened up, that's just a size 10 bolt that will be holding them. So I've been in here for a while, it's up tight. Oh, okay, so if you look at that plug, that plug is wet, okay, it's full of petrol. Okay, which obviously, and then I would suspect number three cylinder is misfiring. Okay, it's fun misfiring on number three cylinder. It could be anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap 
the plants around like that because we are just testing at this moment. Uh, by the way, I need to service this car as well. But I thought I need to find a misfire first because if the misfire is going to be expensive to repair, it's pointless doing a service, okay? So we have to find the misfire first. I'll put these plugs back. Okay, so I've got the plugs back and I've got it uh, uh, running. So I'm going to be taking off these wires one by one. You see there is a difference there. There is a difference there. There's no difference there. Okay. And there is a difference there. So as I suspected, the misfire is on number three. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap two coils around. We'll turn the two coils around. Okay. We'll put... Uh, 2x3 and 3x2 and then we will see if we get a difference in the if the misfire has moved okay okay so let's try number three there's definitely a difference there okay so we try number two there's no difference so the misfire has moved so it means that it is the coil, okay? Simply we need to find and uh, we need to find the coil, put a new one in there and then we'll give it a try and see what happens, okay? Alright, so I've sourced the new coil, okay? We'll put it in. It's uh, basically a three pin, uh, you know, it, it, it is a three pin uh, coil. So we'll put that in quickly. Now we get it started and we'll see what we do. Okay, as you can hear that that much fire is definitely gone. Okay, no more much fire. So I can now go ahead and service the stock. 